the time, the tamp, and the grind. Let's talk about that. Last week, we got our dose and brew ratio squared away. Now, let's consider timing. For a typical double shot, I suggest shooting for a 20 to 35 second brew time. Now that you're using a precise brew recipe, the timing of your shot will be directly connected to your grind setting. You can also adjust your dose a little bit to change brew time, but I suggest starting with grind so that you can leave your brew ratio numbers alone. Now before we even get to the grind, let's talk tamp. First and foremost, when tamping, you need to focus on tamping evenly. Water is going to look for the path of least resistance and take it. If you've tamped unevenly, your shot will most likely come out under extracted because half of your grounds will have been underutilized. As far as the amount of pressure goes, simply tamp to the point of compression, meaning when you feel resistance, pull away. It is very difficult to consistently replicate any specific amount of weight when tamping. So don't bother trying. We're all human, we may as well accept it and start making things easier on ourselves. While we're on the subject, I would also like to address the way that you hold your tamper. I highly suggest trying the more ergonomically correct position. Straighten your wrist and hold your tamper like a doorknob. In this position, you can also use your thumb and index finger to evenly position your tamper base before pressing down. Now with your elbow up at a right angle, gently shift your body weight into your tamp, just until you've reached that point of compression. And that's it, a simple, easily replicated tamp. If your espresso needs adjustment, leave your tamp alone and adjust the grinder dose instead. Finally, the most important and difficult step, the grind. This is the one that you'll wind up playing with the most. And unfortunately, there's no way for me to quantify the correct grind setting. Every coffee is going to grind a little differently. And even if you always use the same beans, you'll still need to adjust your grind as your beans age and as weather patterns change. Your elevation may even be different than mine and require a completely different grind setting, even if we're using the same beans out of the same bag and the same type of grinder. In fact, even if we have the same grinder, the chances of yours being calibrated exactly the same as mine is pretty slim. All that to say, it's just something you're going to have to play around with a little bit. But I can give you a few tips on how to go about it. One. Start with something about the consistency of granulated sugar and adjust down from there. Two, work with small adjustments, one step at a time if you have a stepped grinder, minute little adjustments, no more than a couple millimeters at a time if you're on a stepless grinder. Three, if your shot is coming out fast or tastes weak or sour, you've under extracted, grind finer. Conversely, if your shot is coming out really slowly or tastes horribly bitter, you've over extracted, grind coarser. Four. Anytime you adjust your grind setting, purge your grinder a little. Most likely you have a bit of the coffee from the last grind setting sitting in your grinder chute. You'll want to make sure to get rid of that so your grind is consistent. This will all take some trial and error at first, but by gaining control over all the factors that we've talked about, you can know exactly what you're manipulating and how it is affecting your shot. In the end, we're looking for the best tasting shot possible. So brew on, and thanks for watching. See you again next week.